Researchers in China observed 20,000 people over the course of four years. The cognitive skills were tested and logged. Then those results were cross-referenced with pollution records. Nitrogen dioxide from cars and sulfur dioxide, the colorless gas typically emitted by power plants. The newly released study, co-authored by Chinese and American scientists, concluded that the more a person is exposed to dirty air, the more their intelligence is negatively affected. Language ability is more affected than math skills, they note. Men are more impacted than women, with older, less educated males impacted the most. There are also short-term effects, like taking a test on a heavily polluted day could produce worse results. China is home to several of the world's most polluted cities, but in recent years the government has declared a, quote, war on pollution. Dirty air is on the decline, but in some cities, it's still triple the recommended limits. Premier Li Keqiang has described pollution as, quote, nature's red light warning against the model of inefficient and blind development. But China is not alone, and the study's authors are urging politicians in developing countries and indeed around the globe to take note. The World Health Organization says more than 90 percent of people on this planet breathe bad air. That's potentially billions of minds adversely affected. The WHO also says pollution accounts for one in every nine deaths worldwide. The international body will be holding its first ever global conference on air pollution and health later this year. Rowie Ruttenberg, CGTN in Washington.